Greetings, salutations, it's me, James, your BA Sensei, back with another Power Query tutorial. In today's video, we are going to continue looking at pattern recognition in Power Query. Well, the data set, we have a one column data set with up to a hundred word sentence in it. What I want to do is in the sentence, I want to extract any hashtags and comma delimit the hashtags from the sentence. And I also want to extract and comma delimit any dates found in this sentence. Motivation for today's video comes out of the definite guide to Power Query M by Rick de Groot and Melissa de Korte. Incredible book for anyone who's interested in Power Query. Well, enough talking. Let me show you how to do it. All right, as always, let's get the data set into Power Query. Select your data set, go to data and from table or range. This opens Power Query. All right, so once you're in here, I wanna basically take each of these sentences and break it up into its individual words. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, I'm not gonna use the unit interface, I'm just gonna add a new step and I'm gonna say here, table add column. And the new column is gonna be called hashtags because I wanna look at the hashtags. I'm going to say each text split. Yes, I want to split the sentences, the column name, and I want to split it by spaces. All right, so let's see what happens. So now this creates a list for each row in my table, and the list basically contains each and every single word as a row in the list. Right, good starting point. The next thing I want to do is I want to only find, I want to only select words in this list starting with the hashtag. So what I can do is I say, because this is now a list, I say list select and I say each text starts with, so each of the text elements underscore represent each of the words in the list starting with a hashtag. There we go. All right. You see a little problem we have there. You see this first one, we got two sustainabilities. I want to have a unique list. So two duplicate hashtags. So let's quickly look at list distinct. This should now give me a distinct list. By the way, a great resource for looking at formulas in, in your browser is is a site called Power Query How. This is an incredible site. So if you look at list.distinct, it will give you some good background on list distinct. All right, so now we have a list of all the hashtags. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to combine, I want to return this list as a column in this table and comma delimit all of the hashtags. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say text combine. Yes, everything in my bracket there. And I'm going to combine it with let's use a comma, comma and a space. There we go. You can see now we have all of the hashtags contained in each of these sentences. Pretty cool. All right. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to extract, I want to add a column that extracts all of the dates found in this sentences column over there. So I'm just going to say add new. Yes. And we say there table add column and to the custom, we're going to add a new column called dates. And in here, as same with the previous step, we say each text split, take the sentences and split it by all the spaces that you find in there and close the bracket out. It's going to return a list of all the words within each sentence. Now, I want you to note a little thing. You can see the dates over there. We have a comma that basically pollutes our data. So commas and full stops that produce pollutes our data. So I want to get rid of the comma and all right, so we're going to get fancy here. So we're going to go in here and I'm going to say, I'm just going to add after the each, add shift and enter. And I'm going to do a nested let. I'm going to say let, yes. And this first split, I'm just going to call A and say A is equal to that. And then I'm going to say in A, close it out and press enter. It gives you pretty much the same thing. We just basically rewrote that with a nested let. All right, so what we're going to do next is we're going to add another step. I now want to split all commas and full stops out of the data set. So I'm going to create a new variable called B and I'm going to say I'm going to use a cool function list transform and I'm going to say give me all of the items in the list from the, the split sentence. Yes, A, which is the previous variable. Take each 
of the words in that list, apply text trim start because I know all the things need to be trimmed from the start. And we're going to say underscore because the, the comma and the full stop is at the start. And we say yes, the underscore represents each word in the list. And I'm going to say, uh, just basically remove each comma and each full stop from the data set. Yes. And then in our clustered let just make sure to end the let with instead of the A, end it with the B. So now we got rid of all those pesky commas over there. Pretty cool. All right, so let's go back to our function. Uh, press shift enter there. Now let's try and extract everything that's a date from this. I'm going to create a new variable C. And I'm going to say list select. Yes. I'm going to say take everything from the previous variable B, which is the list we created the transformed list, removing all of the full stops and commas. So they're each for each item in the list. And I'm going to use the value is function. And I'm going to put in there date from and from and I put the underscore there check if each word is the date from and I say there date. Sorry, yes, and we return variable C. Oh, you see we have the dreaded error. Oh, we got an error. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay, so let's go back to that. That's to be expected. So this is the ideal time for us to use error handling inside of Power Query, which is basically going to use try and otherwise. So what I'm going to say is, what is date from? Let's go try. Try the date from. Yes. And if it is an error, otherwise. Yes. Just return a false. Okay, cool. I'm going to see if that works. Let's see what happened. Oh, yes, that worked. All right, that worked. But you can see over here, we have a little bit of an issue. It's not picking up the date in this column. It's because it's got a culture problem with the dates. You know, so dates have different cultures, which is a bit of an issue. So all of these sentences have dates, but it's not picking them all up, even though it's picking some of them up, even though they might be in different formats with the forward slash and some dashes there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this a little bit. I'm going to say, okay, I'm not going to say date from I'm going to say date from text. Yes. And then I'm going to say the culture I'm expecting is English GB for Great Britain. All right. Let's see what it returns over there. And there you go. There's your list of dates. Just a little background on dates. Let's look at date from text. You basically have various formats that you can use to specify your cultures over there. There you see a reference to some culture. You can just look at this page for some more information about converting to specific culture and date formats. All right, so now we actually picked it up. All we need to do now is combine the dates in this list as a column and comma delimit them. So what I'm going to do is in the in statement part of this, I'm just going to say text combine like C, which is the last variable over there. And I'm going to say combine it with pipe for this one. Combine it with the pipe close it up. There we go. There's all your dates in a date column. And all we do now is go to home and say close and load. And that brings it back. And now you basically have two columns extracting the hashtags and the dates from your sentence. Well, until we meet next time, BA Sensei signing out.